The Kalamazoo Symphony Orchestra is a staple in Kalamazoo, and their performance at Shenry Auditorium for the Nutcracker is a great experience for performers as well as the audience. Hear from Daniel Breyer and see how it all comes together. KSO Kalamazoo Symphony yeah. Orchestra. Should I be sitting in the front row? Yes, Congratulations yeah. on this great orchestra. Yes, it's, a, it's wonderful to be able to work with such great musicians yeah. on a daily basis. What's your brand? What are you known for? Well, with, with the Kalamazoo Symphony, we're very proud of the fact that we've been around 97 years. We're heading towards our 100th, so we're planning ahead. It's, a, it's an exciting time for the orchestra to be looking ahead. We also have we do just about any kind of music you can imagine, from symphonic classics like Beethoven and Brahms and Mozart and Mahler to Michael Jackson to Star Wars to, I mean, every kind of music you can imagine, we, we do it. In general, who are these musicians? What, what do they have to, you know, is it, a, is it a, um, uh, like getting to Carnegie Hall? Is it a practice, practice, practice to get to KSO? Yes, it's, <laughs> it's a really big deal now in this time to be in a professional orchestra. Mm -hmm. Any professional orchestra, whether it's Kalamazoo or another orchestra, it's a very big deal. So most of our musicians have spent their lives practicing their instrument. They have spent um, lots of money getting bachelor's degrees and master's degrees, many, many, many doctorates on the stage. Um, and we, as musicians, we live multifaceted lives. We often will have multiple jobs and in multiple cities, and sometimes we are known to drive our cars until they die. <laughs> Well, the sound of the orchestra, you can't beat that, and, and your own entity. Uh, but let's talk about how you're part of Kalamazoo's yes. talent. Yeah. So we are very proud of our community. We love our community, and we do a lot for our community. We try to meet needs when we see them. We try to really help um, and support our music programs and our arts programs in our schools. So our education department is one of the one of the best education departments in all of the orchestra land. All of the orchestras across the nation really look up to our education initiatives. I was talking with Liz, we, we reach over 40,000 people in a year just in the education side of things. And so we're, we're really proud of that. We're also really proud of the fact that we serve our community rather than um, just doing what we want to do. It's easy as artists to only do the music that you want to do, but we've really listened to our community and we've really tried to make sure that we meet the community's needs. And so we're, we are really proud of our community. The other thing about what we do is we love collaborating across our community. So we do a lot with the Gilmore Keyboard Festival and all of these different things, but this is all about ballet arts ensemble. We, we have collaborated them for decades and we love working with them. So what is your role with this upcoming Nutcracker? I get to conduct it, oh, which is a lot of fun. The buck stops there, yes, right? Yes, yes, it's a lot of fun. How is it going to work? Well, it's you'd be surprised when we uh, get together. The, the ballet, they've been working separately. The children's chorus has been working separately. And we will get together as an orchestra just a few days before and we'll do our quick rehearsals. Orchestras, we rehearse very intensely in very short amount of time because all of us are so busy doing all these different things. And so we all come together and then we'll put on three concerts, which will be a lot of fun. So it's you all get together. Is there one dress rehearsal or are you so good that you can we have, spot we on? Have our orchestra only rehearsal and then we have a dress rehearsal that has everything all the lights all of the staging all of the ballet the chorus all of that has to come together at just the right time so thankfully we've rehearsed everything separately so that when we put it all together it comes together really easily awesome let's talk a little bit about how this affects your community on every other year basis, yes. so do we look forward to this? It's it's one of the most popular events in town, and every other year we, we, we do this collaboration, and we, if we don't sell out, it's as close to selling out as possible. I mean, the hall is always full three times in one weekend. It's an exciting atmosphere for us performers because when you, you see that many people out there that are just really eager, it's also really exciting because when we look out there, we see 
a cross section of our community, young, old, from all parts of town, all walks of life. We just, we love sharing this with them. And again, back to the kids and serving as an example. You've got these little ballet artists. You've yes. got uh, uh, your other partners. I mean, they see these adults in the symphony that want to play in the same sandbox, yes. right? Yeah, it, we, it's a wonderful community event and it has that feel about it. It's just, it's a celebration of our community. It's a celebration at a wonderful time of year and it's really great music. This is pretty unique for our area, for Kalamazoo, yeah? Yes, it is a very unique it's a very unique thing because as an orchestra, we don't get to do a lot of ballet. We're not a ballet orchestra. Um, we, we enjoy playing ballet when we get the chance, so we get to do it with ballet arts, which we, we love doing that. I also think it is unique because we have all of these young ballet artists all the way up to professionals, and everyone's working together. It's, it's really exciting. Talk about any challenges to make this A-League. Well, in the Nutcracker, one of the challenges is, is that we all know the music so well, we hear it all the time. And it's not easy music. Even though we play it often, it's not easy music. There's a lot of passage work, a lot of difficult things. But thankfully, I work with professionals, so we can, we can mount those challenges with no trouble. Well, congratulations to you. Thanks for what you do when it comes to collaborating for West Michigan and specifically for Kalamazoo. So, yay! Yes. Let's all go see the Nutcracker. It's exciting. Come and see it. You won't want to miss it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.